You want me to eat that? Seriously? <laughs> but once you get past those nasty spines, well, Devil's Club does have some seriously good health benefits, too. Now, the initial knock on Devil's Club is that there hasn't been any human research done on it yet. However, Alaskan native tribes have been using it for centuries, and there is lots of promising research done on Devil's Club's properties. Devil's Club in some areas is called Clinket Aspirin by Alaskans. Funnily enough, Colin McGill, who is researching the health benefits of Devil's Club for cancer, which we'll talk about shortly, said that he ate some Devil's Club for tooth pain, and it went away immediately. I'm not expecting to have to deal with that. I was expecting planes and boats. I was not expecting beeping backing up sounds. That is a loud beep for being all the way across that water. The reason Devil's Club works as a pain reliever is Devil's Club has Neurolidol, which has been shown to deliver speedy pain relief when applied to an affected area. Double this up with its inflammation benefits and Devil's Club doesn't only knock out pains like arthritis and rheumatism, but can also help with things like eczema and psoriasis. Research has indicated that Devil's Club can raise testosterone levels in men during andropause. And testosterone, as we all know, helps things like sex drive and stamina, as well as bone formation and liver function. A wide variety of Alaskan tribes have used Devil's Club to treat all kinds of respiratory problems. While there is no direct research on Devil's Club, some of Devil's Club's properties do have research backing this up. The same goes for mood benefits, as Devil's Club is andro- <laughs> Adaptogenic. What's I gonna say, angioplasty? As Devil's Club is- uh. Devil's Club is ad uh, adaptogenic. Adaptogenic. It's just not coming out of my mouth. <laughs> means it can help with stress, which I'm getting more of right now because I can't get this line right. And the same goes for mood benefits as Devil's Club is adaptogenic, which means it can help with stress, anxiety, and depression. I'm really kind of wishing we had an Alaskan flag back here right now to, you know, better indicate the Alaskan flair. America! And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I can pay a lot for groceries. Some groups claim that Devil's Club can help insulin levels, and initial research shows that Devil's Club does in fact have a hypoglycemic effect. In addition, Devil's Club is supposed to help with hemorrhages, blood disorders, and as a blood purifier. So far, studies indicate that Devil's Club may fight a variety of infections, including Hansen's disease, otherwise known as leprosy, and various problems like tuberculosis. A newer study from Alaska and Pennsylvania, remember Colin McGill? This is his study. Showed how mice with leukemia survive longer when having a Devil's Club extract. And some other studies showed how Devil's Club inhibited cancer cell growth and increased cancer-fighting activity of chemo drugs. Need some antifungal benefits? Well, one test tube study showed that the extracts of Devil's Club were effective at killing eight different funguses, including Candida. Now, of course, there's this whole other host of things that Devil's Club is supposedly good for, but I can't really speak to some of these, especially considering there's claims that it can be used for insanity when you're using the inner bark. And while there isn't any scientific evidence behind this right now, you know, it has been used by more than one Alaskan tribe for this, so it might work. The FDA doesn't currently regulate Devil's Club, but the Botanical Institute says that it's safe to consume when used appropriately. Now, I already mentioned how it can mess with your insulin levels, so the only other thing you have to really worry about is the evil spiky bits. The standard rules of herbal tea making apply here. Use one to two teaspoons of dry leaves to one cup of boiling water. Well, the main thing is the steeping time. So most people say three to five minutes, but uh, you can go up to 10, even 20 minutes. But if you go a lot longer, then you're gonna want to not drink it and just use it in a decoction because it probably won't taste as good. If you want to learn about another great Alaskan tea next, shabam! Watch that.